course we took all that rust off, we've cleaned up the pole, we've treated the edge a bit, still got a bit of sharpening left to go, and uh, here's the handle. We are almost there, we've still got a little bit of rasping to do, it's a nice bit of hickory here, nice thin handle, very good, there is a little bit of heartwood in there, but I don't see that affecting us too much, but it is my second favourite wood for a handle, the old hickory. And for you Canadian and American axe enthusiasts, you can see that grain is uh, well orientated. But yeah, a little bit more work to go and she'll be ready. Righto ladies and gents, we've cleaned up the head, we've got all that rust off, exposed that nice maker's mark, Evansville. Not, I haven't heard much about Evansville, I'm sure it's good. Made in the USA, four pounder. We've cleaned up the pole, got all that mushrooming cleaned up, got all the chips out of that edge, and whacked that nice hair shaving sharp surface on it right there. Rehung it on a nice piece of hickory, hickory stick, this is nice and thin, there is a little bit of heartwood in it. That don't bother me too much. And uh, we're going to treat the handle. Typically I'd use pale boiled linseed oil, but for some reason here in Canada, it's hard to find. And when you do find it, it's super expensive. But I found a good substitute here. Terra Nova Natural Oil. It says here it's good for cutting boards, butcher blocks, and wood handle tools, and it's non-toxic. So we're going to whack some of that on there. Let it soak in. Treat that handle. Once it's dried out and ready to go, we're going to give her a swing and see how she cuts.
Okay guys, just so there's no confusion, I did have permission off the property owner to cut that little tree down, so, yeah. Okay guys, there's another thing to remember whenever you're using an axe or any bladed tool for that matter, chop wood. Always make sure you wear protective footwear. Whew, it is hot today. Man. Here we go guys, something old is new again. Look at that beautiful old tool, came up good. I guess the lesson learnt for the day would be, no matter how chipped, rusted or beat up you get over the years, it's never too late to make a comeback. Um, shout out to my beautiful wife for giving birth to our baby boy on Sunday. If you're gonna hit the thumbs up button, hit it for her and my baby boy. Um, I hope he's enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. Till next time, peace out.